Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, one more run and we should have enough level 3 heroes to start doing level 3 dungeons. And so, we are going to do a long wield run. Because there's a decent reward in here. A blow sacrificial cauldron for an occultist with plus 20% damage. So, here's our group. We got a flagellant, grave robber, highwayman and vestal. And I upgraded some of their skills. So, we got level 3 heals. We got level 3 pistol shot and open vein. We got level 3 thrown dagger and pick to the face. And we got level 2 skills on the flagellant. So, let's go then, shall we? What do we want? Probably quite a few shovels because it's going to be a long run. I would say 4 shovels at least, maybe even 5. Yeah, let's take 5 shovels. 2 full stacks of food, I would say. So, 24 food. Full stack of torches. Maybe even more than that. Let's say 9 torches. A skeleton key or two. Some holy water. Some bandages. Some medicinal herbs. Maybe some anti-venom as well. Seems like a bit of an overkill, but... It is a long run. Maybe some extra food even. Alright, let's go like this. This looks fine. That costed us over 6,000 gold. So, let's get started. We need to make at least 10,000 from this run. And the objective is to explore 90% of the rooms. So, let's explore this one right here. We know it's empty. So, might as well do it. And then we'll go in the other direction. Interesting layout. Mostly linear. I guess we'll have to check out the dead end on the right side. And then we can go left. Okay, sounds good to me. We'll free some inventory space pretty quickly. We just need to use one shovel and two torches. That was the general idea behind it. I don't actually see any obstacles yet, which is kind of funny. Seeing how we brought five torches, I mean five shovels. That uses a skeleton key. Okay, that was probably not worth it. But hey, we got some gold, I guess. Fine by me. Alright, first fight. Two acolytes and two scratchers. Need to be careful with the acolytes. Need to kill them first. We don't want too much stress. Especially this early on, definitely not. Let's try to stun one of them. There we go, that works. And then front dagger. Yep, sounds good. We'll probably need two turns to kill any of them. Unless we get really lucky with a pistol shot. Nope, we are one damage short. Oh well, it's fine. We live. Alright then. Let's finish off that acolyte. Might as well. Before she gets a chance to attack. And then the other acolyte. She won't be stunned much longer. Nice bleed. 8 damage. So the scratcher is basically dead now. Not quite enough. We are one damage short now. Grape Shot Blast might not be a bad idea. Then we could do damage to both. Or just kill her with a Throne Dagger, it's fine. That's a lot of extra accuracy. It's from the Throne Dagger, obviously. We are almost done. One more hit should do it. We need 4 damage. 1 damage short. Alright, whatever. He's pretty much dead now. Nice damage, bro. How's that working out for you? And he's dead. Okay, we got a sapphire. That's worth 1000. I'll pass on the blood, it's fine. So, pristine fountain. We can use holy water on that. Yep, sounds good. Here, minus 30 stress. 
And let's move on. We'll check that other room and then go in the other direction. That requires anti-venom. Our inventory is basically full now. Bleedstone. Okay. I don't really have the inventory space for that, so I'll pass. We already have a bleedstone or two. Now we got inventory space. So I'm not going to use the torch. We'll kill the spiders and then go all the way left and camp in this room right here. There's one more fight on the way, which we can handle. Be gone. Be one down. Exactly the damage we needed. And another one down. Yeah, spiders are not exactly hard, but they do have blight and stuns. They can be a little bit annoying. That one is also dead. And we got another fountain. Not that we really need one now. I think I'll save my holy water at this point. Yeah. Okay, we got a torch, we got some food. Let's just eat that food. And I'll skip the jade. Alright, well, let's go back now. There's one more fight on the way, which is fine. We'll do that one and then we'll camp in this room right here. Unless we get some more scouting information on the way and it turns out the next room is also clear. The idea is to camp before the next room battle. This actually doesn't seem that long for a long dungeon run. So how's our torch? 27. It's fine. Oh, now we can use the torch. This one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not taking the blood. Here they are. Two maggots and a spider. No problem. Not quite what I had in mind. That's the blight attack. Okay then, we don't need healing. Let's just use judgment then. And one more. Pretty easy run so far. I assume we'll run into harder groups than this. <laughs> we probably will, I don't know. So, one more room and then we can camp. There's a trap on the way. We actually got 80% trap disarm skill. Because the grave robber has pretty high base chance. And I also got the survival guide. And she's going to dig up the grave. Yep, that wasn't me. At least she resisted the disease. Disarm the trap. And we'll camp in the next room. I'm not sure if we can prevent Nightmare like Ambush. I didn't spend too much money for camping skills yet. They tend to be quite expensive. So, we don't need to remove any stress, we're fine. Can we prevent a nighttime ambush? I think we can, yes, we can. Like this. That's a pretty nice skill, actually. We can get a self buff. Then we can get plus 10 accuracy. I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, yeah. As the light gains purchase, Let's move on then. Are Onwards. Oh, hi. We found the Collector. And we surprised him. Alright. That's the first Collector fight in this campaign. And we are in a pretty good shape, I would say. Do we self-buff? We could. But then I'll have to move forward to be able to use Peek to the face. No, let's just attack. We got 95% chance to hit, so basically guaranteed hit. Because that is guaranteed. If you got 95. What's his stun resist? 50%? So we got 40%, 60% uh, chance to stun him. I think it's worth a try. Judgment doesn't really do a lot of damage anyway. And there we go, we actually stunned him. Nice one. And let's bleed him a bit. He only has 20% bleed resist. This shouldn't be a very hard fight, I don't think so. He's already down to 48. 
and he's bleeding for 7, and he lost a turn because we stunned him. Looking good. Down to 32, and he's bleeding for 10. Nice. Yeah, he's going to be dead on the next turn, I think. That was the easiest collector fight I've ever done, I think. We didn't win just yet, but almost. We are two damage short. He'll be dead on the next turn. Nothing can help him. Yeah, that's not going to help you, buddy. You know what, let's just kill him. Here. Because there was a healer in here, collected Vestal. And they will die automatically after the collector is dead, so... Okay then, so, that's 3500 gold right there. But first I have to destroy something from my inventory. What would that be? Well, we can destroy that torch. We are at 100 right now. Sure, it's just one torch. And let's move on! So, how many more rooms do we have? Quite a few. We can still camp one more time. And we will, but closer to this area, perhaps. Let's see what other surprises await us. Uh, and yep, she's compulsive. That was pretty annoying. Plus 20% stress versus beast. Okay, whatever. Yep, she's compulsive, as you can see. That wasn't me doing it. Surprised, some ectoplasms. Okay then. One down. And done. Onwards. This expedition at least promises success. If you say so. <laughs> well, so far it does actually promise success. We are doing really well. Alright, so let's keep that corridor fight. We can go this way, then this way, and like that. Sounds good. That's a trap right there. Another torch. I think we'll have too many torches. But that's not really a problem. Alright, we got some dogs. And we surprised them again. Nice. Alright, let's try to kill some of them. Before they get a chance to attack. Should be doable. Nice one. Next. There we go. Alright, we killed half of them. And the bleed landed. Nice. We are one damage off on that one. We almost killed three of them on the first turn. Before they get a chance to attack. Yeah, we resisted the bleed. Not that the flagellant cares too much. Bye bye. And done. 700 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Onwards. There is a fight in the corridor. That's fine, I guess. Actually. We can do something like this. Go this way, this way, and this way. We'll have to backtrack one room anyway. Might as well be this one. And then we'll go this way. That requires medicinal herbs. We'll probably get some food. Yep. Let's just use the rest. Here, good enough. Okay, another fight. Acolyte and two dogs. Kill the Acolyte first, because stress. Let's see if we can kill her before she gets a chance to attack. She has 7 speed, so that is quite a lot. Almost as much as the rabbit dogs. Yep, I can't attack her with the flagellant, I'm afraid. Yep, she will attack. But we dodged. Grapeshot Blast might do it. No, it's 3 to 6 damage. Better off with a pistol shot. Okay. 
So the dog will die from the bleed. We might as well ignore it. We can stun the other one. That way they won't get a chance to attack. Mind you, one of the reasons why this run is so smooth so far is because I got quite a few upgrades on these guys. So I did spend quite a bit of money. So, right, gold. What do we destroy? Not quite sure about that one. We could get rid of the two torches. I don't think we'll need six torches. I mean, shovels. Yeah, not really. Four shovels will be enough. We are almost halfway done with this dungeon already. If not exactly halfway done right now. Four shovels will be enough. Okay, that's going to be... Holy water. I think that removes one negative quirk. If I remember right. I'm not 100% sure about that. Let's go with the Vestal. Oh no, it gives us a positive quirk, right. Alright, let's move on then. Another trap. There's a fight in here. Okay, two acolytes and two scratchers, and we surprise them again. We do have higher chance to surprise them, thanks to survival guide. Well, thanks to scouting the rooms. And we also got a buff from the highwayman, although I think it expired now. It did. But we had higher chance to surprise the monsters after camping. That's one of his camping skills. Yeah, that's the one. It was active for four battles. Plus 20% chance. Anyway, pistol shot. We need six more. That should do it. There we go, exactly six. Might as well try to stun one of them. That should do it. Yep. Well done. Our stress level is so low. And we can lower it further after we camp. Alright, so, Acolyte. Two attacks might not be enough. Okay, that's fine. Have another bleed. Eight damage per turn, so we are one damage short now. Not quite enough on the Acolyte. Again, one damage. Slightly annoying, and now she dodged, really? Yeah, really. Okay, whatever. This should do it. Yeah, that's a granted kill. Bye-bye. So, we got one scratcher left, basically. The other one will bleed out. Uh, not quite what I had in mind. Goodbye. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Nice one. He is almost dead. He's dead. So, gold. We also got a torch. I'll just use it right away. I might have to pass on the crests. Unless we destroy medicinal herbs or anti-venom. I guess we could? Okay, fine. Let's move on. We should probably camp sometime soon. Maybe in the two or three more rooms. If only two or three more inventory space. Right, now we can use a shovel. Or not. Never mind. Yeah, that's annoying. Alright, whatever. Clear. More scouting. Here's an obstacle. But we still got plenty of shovels. Well, maybe not plenty, but it should be enough. Three more shovels after this. That requires a key. We don't have one anymore, do we? No, we do not. Yes, we do, actually. 
here. Okay, then. Let's see what this fight is going to be. And then we can camp after this one. Some brigands, alright? Let's start from the Fusilier. And bleed the bloodletter a little bit. Yeah, I don't like that dodge debuff too much. Now he's dead. So, yeah, group heal. We basically countered that damage right there. They are focusing on the grave robber. Alright. Fair enough. Might want to heal that up a little. I do have some bandages. It's only 2 damage, but might as well remove it. I don't think we need Shadow Fade. No, not really, we don't. Let's buff our accuracy. And, and kill the Cutthroat. He can be quite nasty in terms of damage. Nice. How's the bleed? 8 damage per round for 5 rounds. Yeah, that bloodletter is slightly screwed. Just don't kill my grave robber, thanks. Give me my Vestal, I need a heal. There we go, that's better. Nice one. We got level 3 heals on the Vestal, so that helps too. After this, we should be able to do a level 3 run. Looking forward to it. Better rewards. But also higher difficulty, obviously. So, I think it's time to camp. Either right now, or maybe in the next room. No more keys, I'm afraid. Okay, then. Let's move one more room, it's fine. We are almost done with this entire run already. Only a few more rooms to check out. We'll camp in this one. Okay, yep, now we can camp. Might as well reduce our stress slightly. And first, prevent Night Slam Ambush with Bandit Sense. Then we can use Clean Guns. Plus 10 Accuracy. And what else? That's basically it. It's a pretty good combo. We got some scouting information. Alright, we can skip that corridor fight. We can go like this, and we'll finish the run. We don't have to do all the rooms, just 90%. That was such a smooth run. And yep, she's going to investigate, without giving me a chance to do anything. Alright, that's your own fault. You're going to eat that blight. Right, there's a fight in the corridor, right around here. Just some spiders. And we surprise them too. Okay then. One down already. Next. Not quite enough damage. Now it's enough. Judgment did more damage than the grave robber. And we're done. More gold. I think we made over 10,000 easily already. Which was definitely necessary. Okay, do we destroy something? I don't think so. I could destroy the torches. It's not like we need them anymore. You know what? Sure, let's destroy the torches. And boost our light level to full. We are almost done. We only need two more rooms. And that will be it. And another group we surprised, nice. So Acolytes first, as usual. We won't even need any stress reduction facilities after this run. We are close to zero on everyone. 13 stress is the highest we got, that's insane. Decimated. One down already. Let's maybe heal up a bit. 
Or we can stun the Acolyte. Keep our stress level low. Sounds good. 8 health on the Grave Robber. Should be fine. They are targeting the Flagellant. Or one each, I suppose. We got a bleed, but we can still remove it. I think we still got a bandage. Yeah, we do. Might as well put it to good use. Let's go with Grape Shot Blast. So this guy will die from the bleed now. We'll remove our own bleed. You know what? I'm going to use Holy Water to boost our resists. We need more inventory space anyway. Because we will still be getting some more load. Nice one. Will we get one more chance to heal up? He's targeting the Grave Robber. Fair enough. Resisted the bleed at least. Yeah, we should try to heal her up. Let's not kill this guy just yet. Oh, now he died from the bleed. Okay, fine. I thought our Vestal will get a turn. What's this? Agility Whistle. Plus 4 dodge, plus 1 speed for the Houndmaster. That's not too bad. I wouldn't mind. I'll take it. Let's check out the coffin. Nothing of value inside. Alright, one more room and we'll be done. We are basically as good as done already. The match is struck. 200 gold. I don't think I can pick born. that up. That was such a smooth run. And we should be done now. Yep, done. Return to the hamlet. How much gold is that? Yeah, it should be quite a lot. Almost 10,000 from lot, and then 7,500 from quest rewards. And we got the sacrificial cauldron. And some heirlooms, as usual. Two new level 3 characters, and now we can do level 3 dungeon. That's probably what we'll be doing next. Two daredevils, okay. That is actually pretty nice. Plus 15 dodge when they go below 50, uh, below 25%. A fresh irritant, the okay then, we still need some stress reduction. Let's take a look. You need to go here. And I think that's it. We still got some diseases. Any really bad ones? Yeah, that's a pretty bad one. Let's remove that. What level 3 dungeons are available? Oh, we can kill the Hag. And get Guardian's Shield. I think we got one Man at Arms, but he's pretty low level. Yeah, he's level 0. So, what would be our group for the Hag? It would have to be any combination of these five people. That should be fine for the Hag. Yeah. Helion, Houndmaster, Highwayman and Vestal. That's a pretty good one. However, we'll be doing that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.